Hello everyone, today we are going to look at some level 1 science, um, the 2019 genetics variation paper. So as always, one question per video, let's get into it. Um, so question 1 of this particular um, examination paper, quite straightforward. And I have to say, this um, 2019's exam was very very short and very very easy as well. Um, so um, so hopefully, you, if you are sitting the exam um, this year, you um, the exam paper will be as easy as this one. So let's go through this. Um, so this is just the ATCG base pairing. So A goes with T, C goes with G, A goes with T, C goes with G. Just remember the ATCG um, pairing and that will be fine. Now, mutation. So let's look at the question. Some adults can digest milk, but majority 65% cannot. Okay, so this is ca caused by DNA mutation. So what is a DNA mutation? Um, mutation is the permanent change of the base sequence of the DNA. Okay, so you have a change in the base sequence of DNA. So just want to explain a little bit what about what base sequence is. So if you think about like this is your double helix DNA and in these, you know, the, the rounds of the letter. So these are your eight, like in the middle, you have the A, T, C, G, G, C, T, A, whatever. So this is your base sequence. So the base sequence, the order of the base sequence determines what particular protein is being made. And what mutation is, is that it changes this particular order. You can either have new bases being added in or you can have them swapped around you can have things being deleted and that's what mutation does it changes the base sequence of the dna and that normally results in creations of new alleles um, but we'll look at that later okay so you look at the definition um, so DNA is a change in the order of the base sequence or the order of the DNA bases which make new proteins that causes a new allele. Okay, so something that um, I'm pretty sure the next question asks this particular part. Yep, so the definition. Um, what you can notice in the exams is that they always ask this question but they will phrase it in a different, little different way. They will give you a particular context and then um, you just have to pretty much answer the same question but then the context is a little little bit different like I said this one's talking about adults digesting milk um, previous years it could be talking about um, gorillas being albino so lots of different examples that they can use <clears throat> that's the thing with biology you know it just makes sense I mean I double majored in biology um, at university and I quite enjoyed it because it just makes sense it was easy to learn and um, and it was really interesting okay so let's um, let's not get too sidetracked here um, so include the terms of DNA gene allele phenotype and mutation so we're looking at how a mutation gives the adults the ability to digest milk so if you think about it is that most adults couldn't digest well not anyone could uh, everyone couldn't digest milk before but because of the mutation that changes the um, in the base sequence so it changes the DNA so what it means is is that because you change the base sequence you have changed the gene you have changed the characteristic because you have created a new allele which um, makes a new protein which allows you to digest milk which is then you know creates a new phenotype and that's caused by mutation okay so if we look at the how they answered it here. So mutation is a change in the order, so we kind of talked about it just now. And what is DNA? DNA carries genetic information, and an, a gene is a section of DNA, so you can think of it a little bit in the sequence. This is how I tend to teach it. Like this is your cell, and then in, this is your nucleus, and inside your nucleus, you will see like things like these, you know, the um, these are your chromosomes and then chromosomes we can see chromosomes because they essentially condensed structure of DNA so they are condensed structure of DNA and uh, which we know looks like this and then if you look at one particular small section of the DNA it's a it's a gene so what makes up the genes that's your nucleotides you know the base sequences so this is made of nucleotide so the gene determines what physical characteristic it has. So the gene 
that calls for one characteristic, in this case, digesting milk. And the allele is a different version or different form or alternative version, alternative expression of the gene. So I'll give you this example again. I hate using these example because they're not necessarily right. Um, because most of our most most of the human alleles, um, the physical appearances are caused by multiple genes, um, and in year eleven you just need to know one 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 gene calls calls for one characteristic. So if you think about the um, ability to roll your tongue, let's say if you can, so we all uh, let's use a different one. Let's look at the um, the ability to bend bend your thumb backwards so hitchhiker thumb so we can all bend our thumb backwards to a certain degree but then you have people that can really bend the thumb backwards a lot and that's called a hitchhiker thumb so the ability to bend the thumb is you can think of it as a as a trait as a characteristic and some people can bend all the way back so that's an alternative version of the same trait okay so we all have that particular gene but then there are different versions of that gene and that word is the allele so this is the alternative version and going back to the example i was going to say but i would i, I change my mind but i changed my mind again like say for example eye color eye color is actually coded by multiple genes um, but say we all every single um, human have um, colors of um, the eyeballs have colored um, the eyeballs are colored so we all have like say the gene that we're looking at you know the characteristic that we are looking at is the eye color characteristic like eye color and then there are as you know there are different versions of eye color you have brown you have hazel you have green you have blue um, lots of different colors of eyeballs so these are different versions of the same gene so these are what we call alleles they're caused by different um, a different version of the gene and how they're different. I like say, for example, if ATCG is brown, I say this particular version, this is brown. If I have TAGC, let's add a few more, let's say AT. If this one's CG, for example, this is green. If I have CGGCTA, let's say this is blue. So what creates a different alleles is a difference in the base sequence okay so that's what creates different alleles and the mutation is when you change the order of the dna base sequence so you're changing the sequence and then you so this is the brown eye green eye blue eye then all of a sudden you can have albino eyeball you know you can you lose a colorization you lose a pigment that could be a change in the base sequence and that creates a new version of the gene okay so in this case the new allele codes for the phenotype ability to digest milk as an adult okay so this is a very 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 um typical question in the exam they ask you to define what gene chromosomes alleles phenotype genotype you know all of the definitions you just have to learn them there's no other way you have to understand what they are and then apply them in the question like this okay let's look at the last question i believe explain how a mutation can be passed on to the next generation um i normally use this example like say um, this is in one of the old school exams let's say if um, um the question is if a teacher becomes deaf because his class is too loud would that particular and then if that if that teacher um, has a child would the child be deaf one um, he or she was born and everyone in my class will be able to tell me of course that person will be normal because the deafness was caused by an environmental factor okay so if you look at the example mutation mutation if the mutation occurs in the body cell of the parent it cannot be passed on to the next generation it can only be passed on in the generation if it was involved if this occurs during meiosis if it occurs during the six cell reproduction okay so if that particular six cell um, then ends up you know the whole batch of six cell ends up um, fertilizing you know an, um, another six cell that creates a new individual then the meiosis is passed on okay so you can only be passed on if the um, 
coding for the ability can, can be passed on in the DNA from either parent when the when the sperm and egg cells fuse. So um, this is quite a short answer, um, but I would, if I were you, I probably would have gone into the detail um, that the mutation has to occur um, during the sexual reproduction phase. Like say, if it just occurs, if the mutation occurs, I say during in the body cell of the individual, then this will not be passed on. This will only stay in the individual. But if this is involved in the production of sex cells and then the sex cells ending up fertilizing each other, like say it's fused, producing an individual, then the offspring will get this particular trait as well. Okay, so hopefully this video has been helpful, very short, um, but that's what the trend has been for this particular standard, getting shorter and shorter. But the key things are um, mutation questions are normally very common. Um, the DNA, the definition of DNA, chromosomes, allele, genes, um, phenotype, genotype is very, very important as well. Let me just quickly go back here. Um, so when we talk about phenotype, phenotype is a physical ability, it's a physical characteristic. Genotype is a combination of the alleles. Like say if we use humans as an example, we inherit one chromosome per um, from each parent. And so that's why I have 20, um, 23 pairs of chromosomes. We inherit one from each one from each parent per pair. So the combination of the two chromosomes together will be the genotype, will be your genotype. And then the genes, the genotype would have a particular base sequence, then you have the dominant allele, the recessive allele, and then the, um, the, the, the genes tells your body to make a particular protein, and that's why you will look a certain way, okay? That's why you, that's what determines your phenotype, okay? So, um, so hopefully this makes sense. I mean, not a lot of, um, um, problem solving here, it's just rote learning. Okay, so hopefully the explanation was helpful. And um, like always, smash the like button, um, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.